They've mapped it out where like where people traveled from to go to to go to the insurrection event. Mm -hmm. um, where they traveled from? Soiree. Mm -hmm. Some areas had populations where um, people of color uh, went up in their populations, and then you can track like, and then all these people were like. Well, I gotta go shit in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say, like, I think that's the part about this conversation that is so important to me. Like, resource guarding, have, like, we joke about it, but th this is really an important conversation because we never really get to diagnose what's going on. Like, I don't have privilege. What is privilege? It's like, well, let's have the conversation. Privilege isn't about what makes your life better. It's about what's normal. When you see a police officer, it's normal for you to be like, oh, Jim, and walk past. <laughs> While I'm like, thank God my cell phone battery's at 98% because my family might need evidence. Until my kid's life is like that normal, that's privilege. And like, that's the conversation like I hope we are getting here, and if not, we, we don't even agree if racism exists. So that's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we're gonna do the problem with black people well, at some whether, point. We called whether, it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's such a good point because I, I do think there is, there is a sense in the white community of which I have infiltrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 snuck quite in. successfully. In what, in what year? Point, You're though. welcome. It was right after the Italians. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, we came in, <laughs> the Irish became the cops, the Italians oh, opened no. up the pizza places, and we were like, anyone want a nosh? <laughs> <laughs> we, we jumped in on that point. But there's such a reaction to, you're calling me immoral. If you say racism exists in this country, then you are saying I'm immoral, and the other thing you're saying is my life is easier than yours. So it's really easy for people to go, my life is hard. But the thing they don't realize is like, yeah, life is fucking hard for almost everybody. But there's this added, it kind of became clear to me in a completely different context. And it had to do with women. And I can't remember, it was Jess Williams. Was you Jessica remember Jess Williams. Williams? Yeah. We were talking about something I can't remember. And we were talking about walking to work from the subway and, and Jessica was like, I go, and she starts describing how she walks from the subway to work. And I was like, that's, why would you do that? The, it lets you out on 52nd, you walk right <laughs> across. Yeah, I and, she, going. and she goes, yeah. past the construction site. I was like, yeah, yeah, they're putting the, yeah, so I can't walk there because they harass me. And I was like, wait, what? And then it was a whole thing about, and I can't leave the office at night unless I leave with some, and what it made me realize is like, privilege is not having to add the extra steps to make the recipe taste good. Like, Boom. women, black people, like all these extra steps have to be added in and it's that thing you're talking about. Like, just want it to be normal. No one's saying your life is easy because you're white. But what they're saying is, but you also like, you don't have these five other things you gotta do, or if you're a woman. And that's the hardest thing to get to people is to say like, we're not calling you immoral, or we're not saying that this is, that you caused this. I feel like the collaborative process at the show really helps to calibrate, not a dogma or an orthodoxy, but a, a thought process behind how we approach these ideas. And the fact that this is a problem for so long, it's pretty clear that the problem, that, that the black community has, all of our prescriptions for the troubles go to the black community. Well, get your families together. Yeah. Pull up your bootstraps. Talk in the Queen's English. Uh, all those things. But when you really think about it, they haven't, We've made the fight for equality so bloody and so perilous as to destroy the foundations of an entire group of people. Right. And then we sit back and go, who, fuck, who fucked this up? Right. Can, you, can you please clean this up? Well, no, is that, I mean? No, no, I agree with you. It's just that that means that every person 
who doesn't see it that way, they go, oh, that's such radical thought. And for black people, a lot of times you go, no, it's kind of simple arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> you, al you already know at the end of this episode, Cornell West is going to watch it and be like, no missed calls? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Is, well, I'm actually, I'm actually, because Kay, every now and then I, I go, I would love to hear Cornell say, now, Brother John, Brother John, Brother John. <laughs> <laughs> he was on our list. He's like, yes. <laughs> One thing that's fucking mind-blowing to me is that one in five white people believe that they're, like, discriminated against more than black people. One in five. That's 20% no, of in white five? people. One in so five? So was it Ross, Rachel, Chandler? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my baby Monica. Please, not Monica. <laughs> it can't be. That is crazy.